you surely won't get kidnapped. Probably. Um, Lackadoo, that was a little rude. How dare you. Hello, it's Classic Cookie Gaming, and welcome back to Mario Superstar Baseball, where today, apparently, we're playing demo mode. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to hop back into the challenge mode, this time on the flower difficulty. And as we get there, I would just like to really quickly thank you so much for the amazing subscriber growth over this past month. It has just been, once again, amazing. But I need help with one more thing, which is watch time. If I um, want to become a YouTube partner, which will start as Peach this time, actually. But if I want to become a YouTube partner, I need more watch time. And so if you could just watch this video until the end and click onto another video right after this, even if you're just watching it in the background, that would help a ton with the watch time and me being able to become a YouTube partner. And now on to the challenge, if we can uh, get past the cutscene. <laughs> My goodness, here we go. Hi, Princess Peach, is your team ready? Hmm, besides Princess Daisy, you have Toadette and a few Toads. And your grandpa? Oh, pardon me, venerable Toadsworth. Are you sure you'll be okay out there? Well, all right, if you say so. But let me just fill you in on some details. Your rivals are forming teams too. Beating all the other teams should earn you a date with Bowser's team. Even rival members uh, rival team members might help you out if you can impress them. The thing is, of course, you can only play with up to nine players, so be sure to challenge Bowser with your best team of nine. Bowser craves a test of his, of his might. He wishes to play a powerful team. You surely won't get kidnapped. Probably. Um, Lackadoo, that was a little rude. How dare you. Well, in any case, best of luck to you. Lackadoo, why would you go there? <laughs> Anyways, on, um... The flower level, once again, it's going to be kind of like the last video. We'll probably split it up into two or three episodes, though. But with the flower level, we'll pretty much just go through and not worry too much about getting uh, scouts. The main difference is I am going to go ahead and start getting um, the specials from the shop. So we probably will play a mini game or two. In fact, let's kick this one off with a mini game. I also think that Peach is actually the best to start with, and that's because even though you don't have Luigi and the Piantas when you choose Mario's team, or the power that Wario's team has, or the amazing defensive ability that the uh, DKs have, oh, let's go ahead and do this one on normal mode. Um, even though you don't have all that, you have Daisy, who is probably the best or one of the best uh, sidekicks in the game. And you also have the Toads, which are super underrated, I might say. They uh, kind of go off when they're hitting. They're not the best fielders, but that's okay. But anyways, yep, just gonna look to get some coins here <laughs> and to warm up a little bit, apparently. We are in flower mode. So just a quick reminder, each game will be three innings until we get to Bowser which will be five innings and we have to beat every normal captain before we beat Bowser and we're gonna start with Mario today and hopefully we can maybe grab a couple of his uh, team um, but if not that won't be too big of a deal and my goal is once again just to get some specials mainly because we kind of want the the uh, specials carry over between runs, so I kind of want to have those going into the, oh boy, going into the star level, okay, <laughs> going into the star level because it, I, the star level is, my goodness, the star level is where things are going to get a little bit more difficult, where we may, oh, please say fair, there we go, that'll get us the victory, um, but, yeah, the star level is going to get a little bit more difficult. We may not win every single game, but we're also going to try to go for more uh, teammates, which is why we may not win every single game. But anyways, getting us the minigame there will get us 324 coins. If you lose, you 
there you have to pay the entrance fee or whatever that is and I think in this difficulty level it's like 50 or 75 coins so it's not that bad um, but anyways we're gonna face Bowser Jr. here to get a few more coins before we do our first matchup and he's gonna say oh mama play a game with me don't run away Honestly, uh, this is kind of sad for Bowser Jr. I feel kind of bad for him. But anyways, for some reason Bowser's gone and told Peach, or gone and told Bowser Jr. that Peach is his mother, I guess. But anyways, this is just a half inning challenge. We have to win the game, basically. And in this one, it doesn't appear like, oh boy, it doesn't appear that we have any anybody on base. When we get to the star level, we're almost always going to have someone on base, but then it'll end up being, like, you have to score two runs or something. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, we're going to get a triple off of this because the shortstop dr dark dry bones did not run out there and get the ball. So an easy chance here just to walk it off with a bunt. Squeeze play here. That's going to do it. And we're going to get some easy coins. Now, this is not going to be a viable option for coins as we get to higher levels. Star, it, we might still do with some of them. We'll mostly do the mini games in star level if we're going to, if we need any more coins. You're tough, mama. I won't lose next time. Okay, bye, buddy. Uh, and also, Bowser Jr. steals half your coins if you lose. So that's why it's not as viable at higher up levels, because if you lose half your coins, I mean, that's just not great. <laughs> but on top of that, uh, it is more difficult, so it's more likely so to lose coins. And here, not as likely. But with that, we're going to go ahead and grab... Oh, whoops. I went past it. We're going to go ahead and grab um, Lovely Heart and Pretty Flowers. And these are the specials for Daisy and Peach, which will be huge because we'll have them the entire flower level run here. But anyways, on to face off against Mario. All right, we are gonna leave Peach in to play, or to pitch first. But a good thing to remember that we'll take advantage of later on as we get more teammates, hopefully, is that um, Peach is really good at turning double plays, especially with Daisy because they have chemistry, which is that music note that pops up in the top right, which means they play better defense. So that'll be good going on, but for now, this is our defense. Actually, let me switch something here. Toadsworth does not need to be in the outfield. And our batting order is going to stay pretty simple. Uh, I think we'll stick with that. Actually, we're going to put Toadsworth second and make Daisy the cleanup hitter. And like I was saying, Daisy is actually quite good at this game. She honestly is one of the best players and her special is pretty broken. <laughs> It's, if you've seen uh, Super Sluggers on the Wii, which is the sequel to this, her her special is super broken on that, but it's, it's pretty similar here. And here we go. Toad is going to hit this one into right field. We're going to try for second, and we're going to nab it. There we go. Lead off double, and that's why Toad is underrated. Now, with Toad's worth here, I definitely want to at least get a run. Oh, uh, I should have probably sacrifice bunted there but it's fine because peach is up and we're gonna kind of be a little cheeky here and we're just gonna use our special <laughs> because this is early on we want to try to get the run oh boy though it almost didn't happen we'll score there monty most should have thrown it the second if it was gonna be that bad of a throw my goodness he got nothing on that it took like two steps and then it was just like baby luigi threw it Anyways, here's Daisy. We're not going to use her special now. Let's see. Let's try to draw a throw. There we go. The other broken thing about this game that we'll take advantage of <laughs> through the rest of the run is that uh, on pickles or rundowns, the computer kind of just lets you go back to whatever base you came from. And we'll save it there. Yeah, they kind of just let you go back to whatever base you ca you came from. In Mario Super Sluggers, on the for the Wii, yeah, they they definitely don't let you do that. So that's a bug that they fixed later on. But you can do it here, so we're gonna take advantage of it while we can. And here we go. Here's a hit. Oh boy, we're gonna send Daisy back. Probably could have still sent her to third since the throw was going home. 
but don't want a chance getting thrown out there and not letting the run score. But the annoying thing about the toads that aren't regular toad is that they can only go this far back in the box, which is not as far back as they need to be to where their sweet spot is, which we want to hit when they're hitting so that they can hit a home run or hit the ball as hard as they possibly can. But you know, it's fine. The higher level up you get, the computer actually is smart enough to take advantage of it. We should be fine in the flower still, but they'll actually pitch you just inside, 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 and you have to just not try for power at all with the toad that isn't regular toad. But anyways, hopefully we'll be able to get something here. Ooh. Toadsworth, not the best fielder in the world, but we have him on our team for his pitching. He's our, he's going to be our relief pitcher. If we ever need one, which we may not ever need one in our lives. But comment down below after we do this one and then the special cup. Do you, would you like to see, or I guess, oh, it's not cup, sorry, special level. And then after that. Or no, the special level is the last one. So after we do star in special level, let me know if you want to see some Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii. Oh my goodness. Once again, proving the value. That's going to leave the yard. Home run. Proving his worth is Blue Toad. Improving that we don't need Mario to defeat this challenge. And here we go, Toad is up 3-0. I mean, honestly, we're gonna try to get hits, but probably we'll try to just speed run this. Oh my goodness, that's two now that Toad has hit. Oh, he's gonna get a triple. No, he's not, <laughs> Never mind. Probably shouldn't have tested that. But you know what, aggressive base running up 3-0, you know? Always love some aggressive base running. Anyways, yeah, the Nokis are just, or that Noki in particular, the main Noki, is just not really laying out for anything. But anyways, here we go, 3-0. And, oh boy. That's high and deep. That's back, but that's not going to be gone. Out number one. Oh, you know what we might do, though? After we do special level, we'll probably play as Bowser once. Because that's a little bit of a different experience. You're not really trying to get anybody on your team. I mean, I guess that's not d that much of a different experience than what we're doing right now. But then you end up having to face all the captains, which is pretty cool. So I think we'll end up doing that once. And just kind of speed running through it. In fact, I might not even show any of the main games. I'll probably just show the last one. Oh, man. Not good. A little bit of a rally here. You know, Peach is probably the best pitcher in this game but my sneaky pick for best pitcher is actually dry bones he's kind of amazing honestly i wish you could play as him when you're uh in this game like as in this challenge mode you can play as him but only if you're playing as bowser so it's a little you know uh, i i prefer to play him the whole time <laughs> i I want to just dry bone. I want to just dry bones team, honestly. But now, two two pitch will strike out Monty Mole, squashing the rally there for the. What are they? Oh, there's sunshines today. Yeah, that's interesting about this game. Stark contrast to Super Sluggers. Super Sluggers. The captains all have one one team name. They don't ever change their team name. Like Mario's the Mario Fireballs, Luigi the Luigi Knights. In this game, though, they do change. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they do change. Like Mario can be the Mario Fireballs. He can be the Mario Sunshines like he is now. He can be the Mario Heroes even. I think they all have three. At least Mario does. I was not paying attention to the amount of outs, but it's okay because it'll make our game go a little faster. <laughs> There we go. And uh, oh, we have a Noki Trifecta here. And oop, foul ball. And I think, uh, time to rack my brain for some of the names. I know that Luigi is the vacuums, but I can't remember what his other options are. It might be the Knights. He might also have the Knights. 
I think they should have stuck with the vacuums, to be perfectly honest with you, for Super Sluggers, because that's an iconic name right there. <laughs> but anyways, 0-2 to Green Noki. So long on a miss, Strike 3. Peach is making quick work of them. And now, um, is that's 0-1. 0-2. Oh yeah, Yoshi. Is that strike three to end the ball game? Yoshi is like the Yoshi eggs, the Yoshi Islanders, and one other thing. Let's see who gets MVP. Probably Toad. Actually, I was gonna say Peach, but oh, it's Peach. You never know. A lot of a lot of times, it's whoever hit a home. Like it's it's usually whoever hits a home run. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Oh yeah. Best of luck to both of us, shall we, Mario? Oh, did we get... Did we unlock Mario? Oh, we did! Oh, no. Well, actually, that's... Okay. That means we can go ahead and get his fireball. That's a little annoying, because we can't get Luigi. And that's honestly the brother I preferred to get. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. What shall we do? What shall we do? We have a few mini games we can choose from. Let's... Let's try out this one right here, Piranha Plant Panic. And which I think I may have butchered saying this when we did the mini game video. But that's okay. Anyways, yeah, we need to get 200 coins for the for the fireball. I think we'll go with Did I go with Daisy last time? Let's go with Toad. And we'll do normal difficulty so that we can get them. And or so we can get the 200 coins. But yeah, when you when you unlock a captain, when you get all the captain scout flags, that means you can get nobody else's for that team. Which is fine, because like I said, we're not really super focused on we're not super focused on getting every single person. Oh boy, we got the bombed. I'm, a I'm going a little slowly here. I don't like that. I need to be going a little bit faster. Here we go. We can spam. Spam. Fireball. Oh, that was a... That was a short spam. Ow. <laughs> Luckily, we got like three in a row. Oh, man, but he left. That's annoying. I totally threw that at the wrong <laughs> flower. Oh, well. Oh, no. I'm just going to fire them all at that guy. Oh, boy. I'm not doing great. Okay. Oh, no. 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 We're... I am so annoyed at that. I am so annoyed at that. I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to do another one. Oh, no. That was depressing. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time and actually win it. Okay, we lost 100 coins, which was the rest of our coins. <laughs> and thankfully, you don't go into, into the negatives in this one. But I'm just going to do a little speed of this. Okay, we tied for first, which means we won. That still was not one of my best showings. Honestly, rather poor. I'm a little out of practice on that one. I should have done a lot better than that. And we're going to need to do a lot better on that in the future. But for now, we have 259 coins. And now we'll just head on over here to the shop, grab the fireball uh, here. Where is it? Red fireball. There we go. And now we have that for next time. Well, for this time too. And I'll put them in the lineup. I'll probably put them playing second base and move Toadsworth somewhere else. And actually, let's, let's face off against Bowser Jr. We won't have Mario because we have to set him in, a team, in our team first. And we don't get our, get to set our teams against Bowser Jr. It's just whatever last team you played as. But we should be able to take this on. Let's go. Peach against Monty Mole. And then we'll do one or two more games. And probably won't do any more mini games today. Oh, and my goodness. Oh, we actually... Oh, I didn't even realize. We just have to get them out. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, Luigi! Oh, this is actually also a way you can get other players. You can, you can, uh, the ones that you didn't get if you already want, beat the captain, 
You can actually try to get them with Bowser Jr. They'll join Bowser Jr.'s team because they don't have a captain. But anyways, quick there. Unfortunately, Toadsworth is not great at turning double plays. So that's why we're going to kind of want to put Peach back there as soon as we get a really good pitcher. And oh my goodness. Well, now... <laughs> That was stupid. I probably should have just intentionally walked him because, yeah, he can do that. <laughs> but uh, now we can't win. So we basically just have to play to tie so that we don't lose any coins, which is really depressing. Yeah, it does not go into extra innings, by the way, for this. It's You get half an inning. Oh, boy. Oh, just short. And we're just going to throw this one to third. Not going to get him at second. And now we have green dry bones to deal with. Which should be fine. Strike two. And here we go. Strike three. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfecto. And now let's head on to face DK. And Mario isn't the best pitcher, but I am going to put him in there. Just so we can have these two in the middle infield to turn those double plays. And we'll keep Toadsworth at catcher. And we'll probably slot Mario. Actually, where he is is kind of perfect. Here we go. DK, honestly, is probably the easiest pitcher for me to hit off of. I mean, it's just... you With him, you don't have to worry about right or left. The ball going right or left at all. Of course, after I say that, I'm going to strike out. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, hey, you don't really have to worry about the curveballs or sliders, whatever you want to call them with him because he usually it's usually just the uh it, i mean it already has a slight curve to it or a slight slant to it oh man i should have bunted there with toadsworth but anyways oh boy he guessed that correctly i'm gonna have to run back Ooh. yeah what happened there i stole and dk just decided he was gonna pick me off or try to pick me off anyways oh well that'll be good Though, honestly, if Toad wasn't running there, Dixie Kong may not have made that catch. But it's... She may not have been in position to. But anyways, we're going to use her flower. Oh my. And we'll get a triple out of it at least. Yep, we'll stay here at third. But yeah... I don't really know what I was saying before. <laughs> but anyways, 1-0. Oh. oh yeah, Donkey Kong with his pitching. Yeah, it's pretty much just, I mean, it has a slight slant to it, but for whatever reason, it doesn't get a ton of curve otherwise, like, outside of that. So, you can kind of just be ready to get a fastball and for it to stay in kind of on the same uh, trajectory. We do get out there. Unfortunately, only scoring one run, but honestly, that should be fine. Uh, but you do, with Donkey Kong, have to worry more about changing speeds because he will do that as you go up in level and honestly also if you have donkey kong that is how you use him pitching wise you really have to change speeds with him you have to use that uh super fastball and work it off of the kind of medium fastball and then that super slow change up if you want to get anybody out at least anybody who has played the game before, because it's pretty easy to time up his fastball. But, I mean, if you're just sitting on it like I do, I, that's literally my only strategy as we get out of the first inning there. My only strategy is to sit on that fastball so I can hit it out of the ballpark <laughs> or or in a, in a gap like that. If I'm a little early, it's foul. But uh, then, like, I'm really only... I'm really only beat if it's a super slow changeup. Oh, we're going to go for three here. Oh, no, we got to go back. Diddy Kong has a pretty good arm out there. But, yeah, that's really the only way you get beat. And then, honestly, well, and honestly, I don't do that uh, every single pitch. I just do that when there are no strikes and one strike. And there are two strikes I don't rear up. And I kind of sit on it a little bit more. But, you know, he's not... <laughs> He's not rocket science to hit, <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. Oh, I hate this one, by the way. His banana ball. 
it's just it's really tricky. But we're going to not charge up here and hit it. And ooh, just a bit bow. We're going to do the same thing and get Mario over. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a hit, though. I honestly wasn't paying attention to who we would get, but we don't need them. And now, there's a run. And at this point, I'll probably do what I did in the last video and just kind of cut to where things get interesting. And that's going to be an extra base hit. We're going to send Blue Toad. Oh my gosh, that was a cannon. Send him back. Send him back. That was an absolute... A uh, rocket shot of a throw. My goodness. But we'll have him second and third with two outs. That's hit deep. Going back. Back. Three run bomb for Toadsworth. How stately as he rounds the bases to make it a 5-0 ball game. Great job, Toadsworth. You're doing great things out there. All right. Facing DK here in the bottom of the second inning. Still 5-0. We need to strike him out for the mission. I wasn't paying attention to who we'd get or what flags we'd get. But uh, I really want to strike him out here. Classic matchup. Strike two. The 2-2 two -two pitch from Mario. He goes soft and get a nice pick. Donkey Kong is frozen. Oh, what a play by Daisy to stop that. It'll save a run, but won't get an out. And now a big situation here. Base is loaded. One out. We got Koopa Paratroopa up here. Strike one. He's going to hit it. Oh, that's going to be an easy double play. A little soft line drive straight to Peach. Look at all we got. We can put Diddy and Dixie Kong in there. Yeah, Mario just looking like a fool there. I don't know. However, that could have happened. Oh my goodness. Magenta Toad. That's an out. Ooh, that's rough, Donkey Kong. And here we go. I'll show the whole last inning here because I believe this will be the last game we'll play for this episode. Quickly 0-2 to Para Goomba. Strike three, almost right down the middle. Grab an ice pick because he's frozen. One out now for Diddy. We did get Diddy, right? I know I said that we can put Diddy and Dixie Kong in the lineup now. But I now I am blanking on if that was actually true or if I my eyes were deceiving me. Well, Diddy Kong has has a special. Dixie Kong does not have a special. Or at least like a, a unique special. Strike three, that's the game. There we go. And we actually got a good amount of folks there. 5-0 victory. Mar okay, you know what, Mario? No one likes a braggart. Here we, here we go. Look at Donkey Kong's beautiful face there. Oh my goodness. You know he went to the orthodontist as a child because those are some beautiful teeth there. Huh? We lost? Hehehe, <laughs> that was lots of fun. See you later. Bye, DK. We're probably not going to see you ever again. Yeah, we get did get Diddy and Dixie Kong. Perfect. So we will slide them into the lineup for next time. And we'll probably kick things off next time. Actually, let's end with a Bowser Jr. Um, hello, Bowser Jr. I want to play against you. Here we go. Because I want to get Diddy's special as well while we can. So let's go ahead and face off against Bowser Jr. here. And this will be the last thing we do for this episode. Oh, we actually get to play at our home ballpark. Don't get to see that very often in this game mode. And there we go. Up the middle, base hit. That's how you start things off. And just like the first challenge, we just have to score a run and win it. So I'm going to send Toadsworth here. And Oh, wait. He didn't go. Well, that's fine. I use Peach's special there. Oh, my goodness. Go back. Toadsworth. Back. Back, man. Back. <laughs> back, I say. Okay, good job there, Toadsworth. You did exactly what I told you to do. Okay, now he'll steal, and now we'll use Daisy's special. And now I'm scared to send him. <laughs> but we'll do it, and now second and third. You know, we want to use these specials 
when I, I mean when we're there's coins in jeopardy <laughs> that's and when we're trying to speed run like the first game but anyways oh and two with one out here let's just uh oh perfect bunt stay fair oh that's perfect luigi my man you sh at that point you should have just tried to let it go foul because it probably would have <laughs> but anyways we'll win it we'll grab some coins here how many will we get because we could go ahead and buy it oh i lost i'll be back again how many do we get 159 so we'll still have to do a mini game to kick things off next time to get ditties uh, special but we will face yoshi as the first game next time and probably finish things off too so that'll be yoshi wario and bowser in the next one thank you so much for watching to this point in the video and if you could once the outro is over just click on to another video to help out with the watch time even if it just plays out in the background any little bit helps thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this episode of mario superstar baseball and if you did please leave a like down below and also subscribe for some more mario superstar baseball and other mario games on the channel in the future and click the notification bell to see when all those videos come out until next time go find a good book to read and have an amazing day bye